Hello friends, welcome to this video. Now in the previous video, we saw that how we can create our first pivot chart. Now in this video, I'll be discussing about how we can format the pivot chart and what are the various steps that we have in the pivot chart. So let us see the various options that we have in the pivot chart. So here we have already created the pivot chart. And as we have seen in the previous video that when we create a pivot chart, then by default, a pivot table is also created. So this is our pivot chart. When you select the pivot chart, then on the top area, you have here the three tabs. So we are having the pivot chart analyze tab, design tab and the format tab. So I will show you some of the options here in these three tabs. And later on, you can also play with the other options. When I select the pivot chart and then if I go to the pivot chart analyze tab, then here we are having various options. So we can give here some chart name. We can also insert the slicer, insert the timeline. We can also refresh the data that we have seen in one of the video that how we can refresh the pivot chart and pivot table, especially we saw the pivot table. We can also change the data source. We can clear the pivot chart. We can also move the pivot chart that also I'll show you. Then we have here the field items and sets that we have already seen in the pivot table. Now the main part is over here in the design tab. If I go to the design tab, then here I can go for the different colors. I can see the various formats of the pivot chart. You can see that when I put my pointer here, you can see that our pivot chart is little bit changing. I think so this uh, dark mode is better. I can also go like this or this. You decide I'll select this one. Yeah, then I can also change the color here, the color palettes that we have. So I can change here one of this color palette. Let's say this blue color or this one. I can also go for this quick layout like this, this, you see, these are the various layouts that we have here. So you can decide. So let me go for this standard layout. This chart element we'll see here. Then we can also switch the rows and columns. So suppose if I click this button here, now our fields that we were having in the row section that has now gone to the column section. And if I again click this button here, yeah, now our categories are on the X axis and we are having here in the legend, we are having the region. So you can switch these rows and columns. We can also select the data if I click here select the data then this window comes up over here then currently I'm having here the column chart now if I want to convert it into another chart let's say I want to convert it into a bar chart then I can click this button change chart type when I click it I can see here the various options that we have in the column chart so we are having here column chart line chart pie chart bar chart area chart cattle chart etc so suppose if I click here bar chart then the bar chart also we have here total six options that is clustered bar, stake bar, 100% stake bar, 3D clustered bar, 3D stake bar, and 3D 100% stake bar. You can decide. Let me go for this one, clustered bar chart. I click on OK button. And now here we are having the clustered bar chart. So this is how you can go for the change chart type. Now we have this button known as move chart. So suppose if I want to move this chart from this first pivot table sheet to another sheet, then that is also possible. So I select this chart and if I click on this button here, move chart, then it will show me this particular dialog box. And now in this dialog box, I can say that, okay, where I want to put this chart, where I want to move the chart. So I'll click the drop down here and let me select here sheet one. So I want to shift this pivot chart from the first pivot table sheet to this sheet one. So I select here sheet one. I click on OK button. And now you can see that in the sheet one, we are having this pivot chart. Again, if I want to send it back, I can select this chart, go to the design tab. In the design tab, I click this move chart. Currently, the object is in sheet one. I click the drop down. I select here again, first pivot table, click on OK button. And now it is back here. So these are the options that we have in the design tab. And finally, we have the format. If you go to the format option, there are a lot of options available in this format tab. You can just play with it. Shape field, shape outline, shape effect. There are a lot of options for the font here. So just play with all these options which are available in the format tab here. Now I want to show you here these two buttons that is this plus sign in these chart styles. So this is known as chart element, the plus sign and the brush icon. It is known as the chart styles. So if I click on this plus sign here, then we have here various options like axis, axis titles, chart title, data labels, data table, error bars, grid lines, legend and trend line. So if I go for this axis in the axis, we are having these two axes that is primary vertical and primary horizontal. So these are the axis here. What we see if I remove the axis here, you see it is now not having any X axis and Y axis, but we require this one. So I put here the tick mark then we have axis titles so see if i put here this axis titles then here we get this axis titles like this you can also give your proper axis title here then we have the chart title 
chart title is over here i can give some chart title here let's say this is the category wise region wise sum of sales okay so this is my chart title category wise region wise sum of sales this also i can put it on the top area so this is what we mean by the chart title then if you want to see the labels here you can go for the labels data label in the data label also you can click this arrow button here and you can decide that where do you want to put your data labels center inside end inside base outside end data call out and there are also more options let's say i go for outside end then we have here the data table if i put the tick mark over here if i just put my pointer here on the data table then this is a data table like this if you want to see then you can put here the tick mark then we have here some kind of error bars if you want to see the errors here that is also possible here and if you want to go for more things standard error percentage standard deviation etc that also you can decide then we have here the grid lines so grid lines are these currently the vertical grid lines but in the grid line also i can have the horizontal grid line so you decide then we have the legend legend is this one which is currently on the right hand side in legend also i can decide that where i want to put the legend currently the legend is on the right hand side i can also select here top left bottom and you can also check these more options here and similarly we are having here the trend line it is asking me that you add a trend line based on series suppose if i go for central i click on ok button so see this is my trend line normally for the column chart or bar chart we don't use that much of trend line we use it for the line chart but if you want to see the trend line you can see this trend line if you want to remove it you can also remove the tick mark from this trend line so this is what we are having the chart elements and if you click this brush icon here then you have the style and color this is what we have seen over here in the design tab in the design tab also we have this change color and we are having the chart styles here so the same thing we also have here style these are the various styles and we also have the color palette here this is how you can make your pivot chart more beautiful please check out all these three tabs that we have for the pivot chart that is pivot chart analyze tab design tab and the format tab so i hope that you have got a good overview about how to create the pivot chart and how to format the pivot chart now in the next video we'll be seeing that suppose if i'm having some slicers and some timeline and if i want to connect the slicers and timelines to two to three pivot table or two pivot table and one pivot chart then how i can go for this connections so see you then in the next video thank you very much